Nearly one year after a train transporting toxic chemicals derailed in East Palestine, Ohio, President Biden says he will visit the small Midwestern town next month. For residents, the news is a long time coming. In the 12 months since that derailment, East Palestine has been put through the unimaginable. Hundreds of residents were forced to evacuate their homes and have faced air and quality concerns. Correspondent Rich McHugh has been covering this story from the very start. He joins us live now tonight from East Palestine. Rich, the residents have been asking for President Biden to visit for a year. He's finally coming. They had some pointed words in reaction. Yeah, really strong opinions here. A lot of actually disbelief. Some are hopeful that he's actually coming. Um, some are hopeful that this isn't going to be a PR, like a performative event. One woman I spoke to, Hillary Flint, uh, she actually wrote a letter directly to, to Biden a couple weeks ago imploring that he come. Uh, I spoke with her earlier. Take a look. You know, if President Biden comes to East Palestine or Enon Valley, Pennsylvania, um, I just hope he brings resources. This isn't a campaign stop. There are people that are actively suffering. So if he comes here, you know, I want that major disaster declaration or I want some type of commitment from the White House that proves that they're in it for the long haul with us. Now, a lot of people I spoke to echo what, what Hillary just said. They want this to actually mean something and not just be words. They want federal funds to come here, Elizabeth. All right, and Rich, you also obtained some pretty incredible new video of the moment officials actually set fire to those tankers leading to the explosion. Can you, what can you tell us about how you got this and what it shows? Well, I, the first time I saw this was last night. I got it from a source who said this is part of the official investigation. Uh, it's the moment that they decide to actually detonate the five tank cars, and it's, it puts it all in perspective. Like, it's the first time I've ever seen up close the plume of smoke going into the sky, and it's, it's frankly, it's just awful. You get the sense of, of, of the real devastation that, that kind of went over this town. Yeah, and that plume of smoke, of course, is at the heart of the controversy because many of the town folk there say that the air and the groundwater uh, has been, you know, hopelessly contaminated by the chemicals that were inside those train cars when they were set ablaze, Rich. Yeah, I mean, the EPA says, look, we're finding no evidence of uh, contamination still in the air and the water. The residents are saying, we're just not buying it. We see it. We see it in the creeks. Uh, I'm going to have a story coming up that's going to show exactly that one year later. So yeah. uh, there's just a lot of distrust here. Well, you can see that we're looking at pictures of that water right now. It has a nice shiny film on the top of it that clearly doesn't look completely clean. Uh, Rich McHugh, been on this story in East Palestine, Ohio, from the very start all year long. And I'm sure you'll be there when President Biden comes to visit next month. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.